Hi guys and welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In the previous videos, we got an introduction of JavaScript, what's the language about, and where does it fit in web development. So if you haven't watched the videos, then check it out. I'll add the link in the description below. All right then, let's start writing some code. So let's head out to code pen. Let's create a new pen. So today's video is about JS variables. So in today's video, we'll be seeing how to create variables and what are the rules for writing a variable name and what are the standard practices of naming a JavaScript variable. So let's get started. So let's pull up the JavaScript section and let's open the console because we'll be printing most of the stuff here. All right, so let's create a first variable. So where and first num. So let's give it a value of 10. So let me explain to you what this statement means. So the name of a variable is first num. Then I've used this JavaScript keyword var to create my variable. So var is a keyword which creates a new variable. Also, I've assigned a value of 10 to my first num variable. And I've used this assignment operator to assign this value. All right then, let's print this variable. So console.log, let's pass our variable here. So first num. So what this console.log does is, it prints the value in the console. So whatever value you pass to the console log, it prints it in the console. So here I've passed a variable first num, which holds the value 10. So that's why 10 is printed in the console. All right, so let's create another variable. Second num, so let's call it 15. And let's again print this, so console log and second num. And now as you can see, 10 and 15 are printed in the console, but turns out CodePen is not clearing my console for every refresh. So let's clear the console, so console dot clear. So now every time my script runs, first it will clear and then it will run the remaining script. So as you can see, now only 10 and 15 are visible in my console. Also, you might have noticed the way I'm writing my variable name. So this variable first num contains two words, first and num. So the first alphabet of my second word is capital. So this is called camel casing. So there are different ways to write variable names. Let me show them to you. So first is camel case. By the way, this statement is a comment. So anything that is followed by a double forward slash is a comment in JavaScript. All right, so let's create another one. So Pascal case. And the third one is snake case. So let's see some examples for these. So where? First num, then we've got var first num, and then we've got var first underscore num. So these are three different ways of writing variable names. So in camel cases, the first word, first alphabet is small, and for the remaining words, the first alphabet is capital. In Pascal case, for all the words, the first alphabets are capital. And for snake case, all the letters are small, but they are separated by underscore. For Java, the recommended method is camel casing. So we'll be using this for writing our variables. So recommended for JavaScript. Also, there are certain rules for writing JavaScript variable names. So let's see those one by one. So rules for naming JS variables. So the first rule is name can contain letters, digits, underscore, 
and dollar sign. Second rule is name cannot start with a digit. Third rule is name can start with an underscore or a dollar sign. Third rule is names are case sensitive. And the last rule is names cannot be reserved keywords. So let's see some examples to understand these better. Alright, so where my subject one. So this is a combination of letters and numbers. Then we've got maths dollar so this is another variable a combination of letters and a dollar sign then names cannot start with a digit so for example one maths so this gives us an error so as you can see here identify directly after number so this is an error that means that a variable name is right after number so let's just remove this number from here and the error goes away then name can start with an underscore or dollar. So let's try those. Underscore subject math or dollar rank in class. So these are some variable names that start with underscore and dollar sign. The fourth one is names are case sensitive. So where x comma where x. So these two are different variable names. So X and capital X are two different. And last, so where names cannot be reserved keywords. So if I try to use where as a variable name here, so it gives me another error, which says unexpected token. So if I just change it to where name, so the error goes away. Uh, that's all the rules for naming JavaScript variables. And that's a wrap for today. I'll add the link for this code pen in the description below for your practice. I hope this gave you a better understanding of JavaScript variables. But if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. Bye and take care.